Don't say this, don't say that I'm not playing by the rules If they were made by you I won't break just like that I'll make my own mistakes Till I'm wrong in all the right ways Save all your tears, you don't this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world. And this time we are checking out the collaboration between Alan Walker and Pucci Ariani. Now we have been waiting for this. I heard a smell, oh, well, I smelled a smell. You know, someone left me a comment saying, wait for it, wait for it. And I thought, wait for what? And they said, look. And they gave me the information. I was like, what, what, what? And then what happened was somebody uploaded um, something which I presume was the collaboration, but it wasn't the collaboration. It was sort of like a breakdown of what the collaboration was about and giving a little bit of snippets. And I thought, oh man, I thought that was it. So everybody knows this is the collaboration between Anna Walker, the song called Who Am I? I don't know what part um, Pucci Ariani plays. I don't know where she comes in. Um, I'm going to go into the description page. It doesn't say nothing, but the lyricist and composer Anna Walker then it's got the composer lyricist um Gunnar um, Grevy is that how you spell his name and um, pronounce his name um and it's got a number of composers and lyricists Frederick Marcus Matt and Christian so but the and the producer is Casper as well as Alan Walker so look um wait a minute what's this um Peda Ellis um, is that how you pronounce the, the person's name? I don't know. Let me just highlight this and go to our illustrious um, translator leader, um, Google Translate, <laughs> and see how I pronounce the name properly. Um, so, federal lies. That's what do you mean? That's federal lies. What are you talking about? That's knowing. We see what it says now. Peter Elias. Peter Elias. Right there, you go. Um, so that's Peter Elias. So there's a free combination. Okay. Brilliant. I don't know what other information to tell you other than just to press the play button, shut my mouth and just be bedazzled. So without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video audio music. Can you dig it? I'm gonna stop it right there. So this is um, Peter Ellis. I like his vocals. Na 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 na. I don't know the word, the lyrics, <laughs> um, but I like. Look, one thing with um, and I've said this so many times with Alan Walker, he's just got this knack for producing these catchy vibes and the catchy melodies that is you've heard before. But the way how he's constructed it and put it into his uh, Walker world, as you can see, it's, it's very, it's labyrinth, it's very, um, f um, what's the word, not only labyrinth, it's fa film fantasy, it's that film fantasy that, and it's almost on the borderline of a, a musical kind of element, so you've got to be, have that kind of dramatic element to your, um, to vocals, and bring, uh, and, and sort of like steer us into that fantasy world of what Alan Walker's created, so his choice of artists who he works with have to have that kind of quality that he's looking for, and right at the bat, you hear it, <laughs> I'm going to go back just a little bit, to about, say, here, break just like that, yeah, just like that, I'll make my own mistakes Till I'm wrong in all the right ways Save all your tears You don't want to waste them on me what? I'm not gonna be just like them This is just the way I love that the I am Head in the clouds I don't know if it is to go Baby, it's all making Oops Sorry, I'll say it again the way how he constructs his melody structure is familiar. You can, the, the melody structures that you hear, you hear in so many different kind of um, songs. Number one songs, in fact. So he's got the knack of getting that 
melody that sticks into your head. He's got that down to a T. And you can hear it, that dun dun. How many times you heard that? Dun 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 dun. Be your Beyonce, um, Rihanna, um, and these names of caliber. You know, so he knows what he's doing and I like it. And he just picks the right artist that can transform, like I said before, can transform his melody into more than just melody, into a visual within your own mind when you cast it. Like I said, AKA like a musical. <laughs> Once again, I'm gonna go back just a little bit. I try not to pause as much. I mean, we've only less than a minute and I've paused twice. That's like, what? Uncle Momo, calm down. Okay, I'll calm down. I'm calming. I'm calming down. <laughs> so making perfect sense, cause this is who I am. Who I am. Ooh. Now you can easily mistake this one with the least. Fit so well in the song. I'll make my own mistakes till I'm wrong in all the right ways. Save all your tears, you don't want to waste the money. I'm I tell you right back now, if I didn't know this was Pucciariani, I would never have known this was Pucciariani. <laughs> Does that make sense to you? Now, this is Alan Walker's production, so. The editing and the, the editing and to the production is done by Alan Walker, so he's doing a different uh, filter, so to speak, uh, for Pucciariani. What we Pucciariani's got her own style, yeah. When she does her music, you know, it, the producer is a different person from Alan Walker, so they work in a different way. So you're hearing a different kind of texture slightly to accompany the song, but like I said, it's every music producer when it comes to vocals. You know, they, they do this, they, they do that, do they do this, they do this, and they do this. You know what I'm talking about. And to, you know, to fit with it in the zone of the music structure. And they do like to put a different, they might hear something, think that, oh, you know what, if I bring this tone up a little bit more, um, it'll bring out that amount in, in Putrano's vocals. Or this little bit, it'll bring out that amount. And I feel that he's tinkered about because he's seen and heard what the text is, what Puccio really brings out. And he wants to bring that to life a little bit more and dampen this a little bit more. He's a mad scientist and I can hear what he's done because like I said, I would never have known this was Puccio He's giving it a kind of a softer comfort around her vocals. Lovely, I don't know what plugins you use, uh, my G, but you've used the right plugin. You've used a, you use something that's just bring out, that's made her sound like, a f a f mate, Wicked. <laughs> I can't even put, I, I can't even explain it, but I, I want to know what plugin you used for Puccio on his vocals. That's the way how I, I should have simply put it. Let, if I want to, I would love to know what plugins you use for Puccio on his vocals because it really suits uh, the track. I once again got excited and now I must calm it down. <laughs> I'm going to go back just a little bit. Amazing. I, you know what? My only small little critique about this is I wish that. Um, Alan Walker would have made, I wish there was enough funding for a music video and, and, and Puccioni being, you know, transformed into the Alan Walker world in, uh, which you, which I love, but that would have been amazing. Just, I'll go back to about here. Wanna waste the money. I'm not gonna be just like them. This is just the way that I am. Like this, instrument that's following the structure of the vocal. Yeah. The melody structure. This, I like that. that. You can almost use it for hip hop. Ooh. They've got things like. There's got to be a you life know, I, I like 
that a music structure as well? I think we've brought, brought in sort of like three main structures to this. Maybe four, you've got the classic crew, you've got the reggaeton vibe and you've got the Middle Eastern vibe and on top of that you've got the Alan Walker world. Fantastic. I like the ending as well. So that was the amazing Pucheriani with Alan Walker um, and um, Peter um, Elias. I hope I'm saying Peter. Is his name Peter Elias? Let me go back to it. Peter Elias. Peter Elias. Sorry. P apologies for that. Look, when it comes to Alan Walker, um, like I said, he leads you in this kind of, he wants you to be mesmerised in the Alan Walker world. So it's going to be that kind of fantasia, um, that kind of labyrinth feel, feeling that you're floating or flying. And I'm hoping that's, that's what the picture that is presented uh, within your mind. It certainly did with mine. It was so fitting that, look, you've seen the collaborations, what he's done with Puccio in the past. It, this was, for me, so different because the, the previous thing what um, he did with, um, she did with Anna Walker, even though it was lovely and presented, um, I think that there was more that Alan Walker could have provided. And I thought, let me have, I don't think he had as much time as he wanted to. And I don't know who's, whose project it was. Um, but I feel that this time he's thought, you know what? I'm going to take my time because there's something that I would love you to work with. I think he's, once you listen to Pietro your mind just swivels because there's so much amazing ideas that come into your mind that you can do with her vocals and she'd be up for it because she's such a lovely person. And I feel that's something that Alan Walker, and most probably the same thing with David Foster, he's going to be doing as well. And you just can't help but, you know, have that attachment to her. Like us, um, I mean, fans, we've got this amazing attachment to her because what she presents herself as a whole. And it's, you know, why shouldn't the other artists think the same way? So I'm presuming that there's going to be a hell of a lot more collaborations um, with amazing artists as she's, you know, going through her journey. And she's an absolute um, sweet shop to any producer who hears her voice. And it's a proven thing with um, Anna Walker. So, but like I said, my only small critique about this is that I wish that this would have been a uh, a music video where you welcome into Anna Walker's world. And because I don't even know how that would have been, but that would have been so mind blowing. It would have been for me. I hope it would have been somewhere along the lines of when um, Novia uh, Batchmitch done a uh, uh, um, Wonderland. So um, Indonesia. Um, welcome to, is it welcome to Indonesia? Do you know done the Alfie Rev and done Indonesia too? I'm in, incidentally Indonesia three is coming out really shortly. He's just doing half, you know, he's doing some. I think he's he was finding the budget and all he's done is sent a trailer of what he's produced so far. But I believe that the budget he he now has and he's working on this working process. So watch out for that Indonesia three and um, three. But as you know, in the in the uh, the first Indonesia um, that was played, you know, that the, the, um, the female with the fantastic green eyes, that's um, Navia um, Banch, um, Batchmich. Please check her out. She has done a um, a cover of um, Manuskin's uh, and I'm late to the party and um, begging and she's done it in a different kind of um, way. It's absolutely amazing. I've, I've reacted to it. Please check it out. Um, but it, I thought that Alan Walker's got that kind of Alfie Rev um, style when it comes to his visuals. And it just, it would have been amazing. That's what I'm saying. It would have been amazing if that part, if there was a budget for that. But I'm still happy regardless. <laughs> it's Pichuani um, and as simple as that. I can't wait what she, what else she has up her sleeves. Until next time, I salute you. Boom!